I'm a very huge fan of King Shango. You get me? I know people know Kipitan for this song. Jaja City, Jaja Town, the one fraternity now, cowboy town now. Only look ya know. Bloody city, bloody town. Mr. John Crow, John Cousin, John Brown. Only one more more cousin in a town. Mr. Duffy goes a lucky chica, Piao. All these ones. So when I met Kipitan at the best of the best, when I was performing on the same stage, I'm like, oh, what is? He's <laughs> the original king of fire, you know. So yeah, man. My expressions are real and I thank my stars, you know I mean, for aligning me in that level where I know that it took me a lot of work, only God knows. And it's going to take me a lot more work and a lot more focus and a lot more structure to maintain or even go further. Them no reach nowhere yet, yo. Them get caught in the internet. But society a tell me them my intellect them promote too much debt. Oh no, look, you know. You know you are now revealing the lyrics. I never knew that was what he was talking about in there. Oh, it's just like what we used to listen to. A pretty fierce and bad character. Eh? Yeah. Then they cannot live it, they can't hold chaka. And then I say, Officer Kese, but, <laughs> <laughs> but that is one of the beautiful things about reggae and yeah. dance. Like, you, don't, you, don't have to, you don't have to know the lyrics, but the power that it comes with. Yeah. And then later, when you find the lyrics, you'll be like, ah. So that's what you were talking the, about. The other time, one guy said, hey, you, you be too much, oh, you do song with Beanie Man. That time he said, utum pam pam, utum pam pam. <laughs> or, or, you meet, or you meet Elephant, Elephant Man. Man. And I'm like, yo, it, it be, you too bad, mind. You too, you know, be, you too, say, ah, be so. So, oh, so that is what he said. Yeah, you're yeah. too bad, mind. Hey. Patwa. You might smell the Ghana in the Patwa. But we have instances where some people have mastered other people's languages and you will be surprised. And I must say that I'm one of the people who can swish up on all these. And I think it's an advantage and it's a plus for me. And my father, I'm, I'm humbly explaining. I know he's not, he's not wrong in what he's trying to put across. But I think our identity as Ghanaians and Ghana, I have not deviated. I've rather been able to make sure that I have something to stand on to, to be able to represent Ghana or else I may not be able to even get to where I am today if I was not able to weave my way through to be able to represent for Ghana. And let us ask a question. It is a bitter one. But so to say, where has our local music gotten us to in these times right now as we speak? Reggae is internationally known Danzel is internationally known because they have actually established themselves. And my fathers, like the Jedu Blaze and the Usibisas and the rest, they've done their bit and they are, we respect them. But I believe that, I say this every time and it's bitter. When the Nigerian goes out there, they are able to sing a fella song easily. Fella is known all over. When the Jamaican stands anywhere, they stand in the name of Bob Marley. I'm one of the Ghanaians who have stood on so many platforms, I swear down, I don't even know who to stand in, who's in whose image I come. And I always feel this every single time. I'm like, hey, in the end, I'm not going to be a good guy. I'm not going to be a good guy. I'm not going to be a good guy. I'm not going to be a good When a Jamaican man comes, one love is Bob. Nigerian man stands and says, fella, they know him. Maybe we haven't. I, I, don't, I mean, I hope my submission is clear. In no, whose to name me, are we not, standing uh, out there? Well, to me, it's not too clear. The reason I'm saying that is because you just mentioned Osibisa. Osibisa was international. Yes, so I, I know. Could, yes, that's everybody, why. Everybody, yes, you got but, to do. But if, I mean, yeah, people it, could sing along. Yes, I'm not disputing that fact. But we all know what, what I'm saying is also a fact because I've, I've, I've performed in, in, in maybe not, you know, not, I mean, I mean we're Jumano Dorso. Ah, yeah, yeah, but as a Jamaican, they're very true. Say, when a Jamaican goes out there, they stand in the name of Bob Marley, which is the ultimate. Who does a Ghanaian stand in the name of? Which is the ultimate, undeniably one stop when you raise it, it's gone. And I think 
that is not our work to do. We are doing ours now, and we find ourselves in a new school era where there are Wi-Fi's and music has actually evolved. So I pray that our elderly ones would, would, would try to understand, because gone were those days, even if you did music, your parents wouldn't allow you to go. Even if you played football, they wouldn't allow you to do it. <laughs> but today, this same patois that, 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 that is putting Ghana on the map, I go into spaces and I come and I sound from Ghana, Afrobeats and that, and I'm accepted, I'm not denied. So the least our people can do, especially... <laughs> Stoneboy, welcome back. Thank you very much. Right. Thank you very much. Uh, now, uh, we, we, well, we've been talking, but in, in recent times, we've had issues of you and your manager, mm. Black City. Yeah, man. Is he still at post? Uh, hey, your question is very simple, but <laughs> <laughs> the reality is that, you see, in every organization, there are ups and downs, things go on from the inside and a lot more, and therefore, it only once upon a time when it's, it, it, once, it takes some time, from time to time, you go hear something, and every, every, every team has enough things to deal with from the inside. There are a lot of things that would not be known to the public, but there are things, there are actions and inactions that would, um, would, ar would arouse perception of the public. And once they make that stance for themselves, it's really sometimes so difficult to wipe away. But the thing is that um, <coughs> there are been structural amendments you know, in, uh, at Bernie's and Music Group. And therefore, going forward, Black CD is now my, ma my agent. You know what I mean? With structural amendments, Black City is my agent. And he's, he's not my manager or road manager, you know, but he's more than a manager now, you know. And you can book me through him, his stable, and then you can book other artists through him as well. And you can also get at me directly via Stoneboy Official, you know, at Gmail. And um, on my social media handles, you find contacts and things that you can also hit up. Why that amendment? There has to be. There have been a lot of internal things going on that we have had to, you know, sit and fix, just like every c company does. You know, even the state, the government today go remove this guy. You say, hey, go here. Hey, you, oppose you, Tamale. Hey, stay there. You say, President, what happened? You say, keep quiet. I'm doing reshuffle. <laughs> <laughs> no, but wouldn't that be too much work for you? Because we, we all thought Black City was doing very, very well. I mean, well, internal, in, in, internally, you may see it differently, but externally, we may see it differently. We, okay, externally, we thought he was doing well. This Intern is a nolly prosequa. <laughs> <laughs> Internally, you know, we can't. I mean, what was it the same? You can't, we cannot wash our dirty linens in the public, but whatever decision that, trust me, we take as a whole is for the better and for the best. It's never to, to go down, you know, it might shake grounds, which is the part that the media will report, but from the horse's own mouth, this is what it is. Work will definitely continue, and we shall gain greater heights. Mm. Just watch. I see. Now, uh, okay, I, I may not want to go too much into into that, but your boy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Is Kelvin Boy still with you? Um, here lies the case. You see, the president, especially of Beam Nation, by the power vested in me by the fans over the years, has actually sat thoroughly and fixing things for the best of everybody. I say there have been developments we all have seen in the public domain, you know, about him and all of that. You know, but the issues are broader than what the public sees, you know what I mean? So they have had to be setting things fixed properly, you know? 
So if you say, if you ask if it's with me, I think the legal team is still working on one or two things, and I can accurately answer that part when everything is done. Did he want to leave? In ZMP, I would have, I have heard from the grapevine, many things have gone on in certain instances, some of the things I've heard and seen, which are very evident proof, and these have all informed the president's decision. Would you let him go, if the need be? These have all informed the president's decision. So the cabinet have sat down, we're sitting down, and we'll definitely give maximum respect to the masses who have been of huge support over the years to know what it is. But I think that so far, so good. Um, I have actually, you know, on a, on a, on a proper level, I've noticed a couple things over the years that I have actually have to manage to a point. But yeah, this is where we are now. So would, would you hear from us definitely concerning the fact that if he's still with us or not? Yeah. Hmm. Mr. Logic, yes. Frankie Five, yes, Ola Michael. Uh, yes, let me start with you, Frankie. Um, uh, I thank you for the submission, but um, I think that we should we should watch it though. That the clearing agent clearing. Agent. This is just like you know, in every organization, it does happen. As well. some people have worked for thirty years in places, but like you, you rightfully said, there are internal issues that you wouldn't even know, and I wouldn't say everything over here, and I can't say it all. I just have to say the right, you know. And like I, I said, I repeat, this is not going to. This is not supposed to affect anybody negatively. It's for the betterment. Because it's, it's due to the um, occurrence of things over a long period of time. You see? And until I delve into things, you might even, you would get to realize certain facts that might make you realize that, oh, or what, 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 you know what I mean? So the truth be that the point you made about assembling what you don't know is that we, that has also been considered, mm -hmm. you know what I mean, and, and put mm -hmm. to place. Like so, you know what I mean. Now, you know me. I take your, I take the advice, the right ones. Would you please yeah, come? Right. No, I, I, I'm not done. Uh, that was just by the way. Well, mm. okay, well yes. we got because um, just, of time. Just, just, just give me one minute. Right. I, I do also appreciate mm. the the respect you've given to our senior. Uh, Jidu Blay. Thank you. Uh, with respect to the response that you gave to it. Yeah. I was praying that you, you, you stay in, in line. I, I think you did right. Okay, because no matter what, he's still a father. Yeah. He started this game before us, before we were born. Yeah. You get it. And he's paved the way. Yeah. If they were not there, we wouldn't have come to meet this path being chained for us to all pass through. So thanks you for, Thank you very much. for, for the response again. I think that you should also consider adding motivational talks to senior high schools and tertiary institutions because you speak so well. Honestly, when you're addressing issues, you don't leave any traces. You cross all your T's and dot all your I's. Thank you. And I think it's inherent. So you should begin to think about it. Management should begin to think of how to begin to give back to the high schools and the tertiary institutions speaking, not just the Harvards or in travel. Yeah.